Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So I bought this from the car boot sale. Uh, I think I paid five pound for it, which is probably an overpayment. The last monitor that I checked out was an absolute bump. It was a gaming monitor, the Asus one, and that was completely dead. And I bought this one off the same person. So I'm kind of guessing that this is going to be dead as well. It's a tiny, tiny monitor. You know, very super, super light. Like I'm talking two fingers, right? With ease as well. Super, super light. BenQ monitor. What's very odd about it is this, look at the ports. It's just a VGA and then a DC barrel input, which kind of sucks. But the fact that it's a barrel input interested me. So I took a look at the bottom here. So you see it's just got this uh, gibberish there saying just only use the power supplies listed in the user instructions. Obviously I'm not going to do that. But then here it says the model number and then it's got the rating 12 volts, 2 amps right there. So I'm hoping that it just take any 12 volt power supply, which I have a ton of. So let me get my big box of wires. Here we go. Ugh. There you go. That's all my wires. So let's go for a dig and try and find a 12 volt power supply that supplies two amps. Boom, there you go, 12 volts, two amps. Now we have an issue of, is it gonna be the right barrel input? Moment of truth. Mm, nah, doesn't fit. Okay, so we'll put this one side because this is 12 volts, two amps, right? So we'll keep this to one side here. Maybe I'll be able to, um, to cut it. All right, let's find some more. Uh, 26 volts, bloody hell, but 400. Did I say 400? Yeah, 400 milliamps. Okay, so that's useless. 12 volts, two amps, yes, baby. Okay, and this actually, the port does seem bigger as well, so. Moment of truth. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, uh, that's going in. Cool, okay. Let me just put up, put away some of these wires because I hate to work in mess. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so let's try and plug it in, see what happens. Hopefully we don't get any white screen stuff. Look at that, oh, that's nice. That's good. I can't see any problems with it at all. So basically, I paid 15 for that, that broken gaming one and then five for this. This is a nice looking screen. I'm surprised by how light it is. Interesting that it runs off of 12 volts DC. I could actually, um, I could use this in some of my conversion stuff, but it's a nice monitor, so I don't really want to take it apart. All right, let's try and connect something to it, but for now, it looks like it's all working correctly. Okay, so hooked up the Raspberry Pi. Let's see how it goes. Turn it on. It's working. Oh, it's got some, I don't know if you can see that. It's like got some jittery lines. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, so. The resolution on the Pi sucks. Let's see if we can change that. I don't know. Resolution. Okay. Right, that's, that's better. I was going to say, I wonder if the monitor has any speakers. But I wouldn't know because it's, it's VGA only, so it's not possible, is it? Yeah, it's annoying. I mean, even a it's a it's a high quality image, but those lines absolutely ruin it. So this is in seven twenty p. Let's go ten eighty p. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, now my my phone's ruining that a bit. Let's try and see if. It's okay, actually. Yeah, it's not done. I'm alright with that. I think that's okay. I can either use it for a security feed. I can just use it for this desk. Because this desk is like my workbench desk where I do stuff. Um, it's not my main screen, so. Okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah, let me, let me, let me know what you guys think. 
I'm quite happy with that. Five or it's not bad, is it? All right, guys, thanks for watching. And hopefully I have more success in testing some of the other stuff. See you in a bit. Peace. All right, so this is why I'm dumb. So I've I finished this video and I started recording another video where I'm basically testing out this computer I bought for six quid. You can check that out in another video. Um, if I remember to, I'll link it here. But basically, I'm testing out this, this, this computer. I'm using it. I've installed Windows 10 on it, everything. And I'm looking at the screen and I'm saying, you know what? It looks all right. There's nothing wrong with this screen. And I'm thinking, I've just now realized that it's the Raspberry Pi. The, it must have been either the connection, maybe it wasn't plugged in properly or something. But those lines had nothing to do with the screen. The screen is absolutely perfect. Look, I'll zoom in. Right? I mean, no, it's not obviously perfect because it's got... The, that is actually a mark on the screen, right? So you've got these two little marks, but fine, whatever, that's fine. But look, as you go around the screen... Let me see if we get focus. There you go. The lines aren't there. Do you see what I mean? Look. No lines. Let's um let's go on YouTube. Let's play a video. Um, let's go this one. Wait, look at that, you see? Can't see anything. So we're watching 720p, let's go 1080p. It's beautiful, look, perfect. There's no, nothing wrong with the screen whatsoever. I mean, there's like a bit of dirt and that, but, and there's just this mark here. Well, look at that it's beautiful well 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 worth five pound now so yeah don't mind what i said previously this is beautiful i suppose i should probably wrap up the video again so yeah if you enjoyed it leave a like thanks for watching i always appreciate it and i shall see you in the next one hopefully i am just as successful with this one as i will be with any other monitors that i buy thanks guys peace Alright, so here's the final result of the monitor, and I have no issues with it whatsoever. It's nice. There's no, um, there's no, uh, there's none of those lines or anything that was there with the Raspberry Pi. So it must have been a Raspberry Pi connection, or it definitely was a Raspberry Pi connection. The screen is just so much nicer. It's actually alright. It's more than more than usable, and I've got it set up now as part of the kids' computers in the living room. So this is what the kids are going to play with, and yeah, it's more than. It's more than suitable for, for their needs. I've got no issues with the screen whatsoever. Yeah, so I've installed, this is, um, it's currently running Linux on this computer, just because I set it up on the kids' machine, so it's got like its own kids' OS that I've created. But yeah, the screen, I'm very, very happy with the screen. No issues with it whatsoever. The only lines you can see there is just from the phone, but other than that, it's a really, really nice screen. So, yeah, so I'm super happy with that. Really, really like it. Really happy with the screen. £5, very well spent.